What is going on guys? It's Edward with Crypto University and in this video we are going to be breaking down the almighty grid bot for you. First thing you're going to want to do is pull open your tab and come to the grid bot. Let that load up and then close over on your tab so you can get all the room you need. So before we start talking about any of these inputs here, I want to tell you a little bit about how the grid bot behaves. So the simple DCA bot is good for all time passive income. Once you set it up, if you set it up properly, you pretty much can just let it run and it will make money for you no matter what. It's a little bit different with the grid bot. So in the grid bot, you set your range based off of a high and a low and the grids will buy and sell between that range. So it's better for a sideways trending market as you could see back here would have been a really good time for a grid bot. In this area, you could have covered this range right here. But whenever price starts to move upwards and go kind of parabolic, it's not really advantageous to use a grid bot. As you can see here, your grid could get very well left behind. And once you get out of the range this way or this way, you would have to readjust these settings in order to keep up with the trend. So again, it's not really good for skyrocketing or upward moving coins. It's more so whenever you can find a sideways trending coin trade within that range if you would have set the grid bot up back here it would have done you pretty well using this support and this resistance until it broke out and then you would have had to readjust your grid to this like here so that being said let's take a look at the settings the first one you'll have is the account so you'll choose which account you want to use from the exchanges you have connected we have two exchanges we're gonna go ahead and choose this one you want to go ahead and choose what market you're going to be trading. We want to trade the US dollar tether market. And just for this video's purpose, I'm going to select BTC because you have to have key in both pairs. And by key, I mean coin. Call it key here for whatever reason. So if you want to use a grid bot in the US dollar tether market against BTC, you have to be holding both coins because when the grid goes down into buy, it will use US dollar to buy Bitcoin and when the grid goes up into sell it will sell Bitcoin to US dollar so you have to have it both ways that way the bot can continue to operate without error if you want to choose the AI strategy it will auto calculate weekly high and lows for you if you want to choose the manual strategy which is what we recommend you can come in here and set the upper limit price the lower limit price and how many grids you actually want. You can also put your quantity per grid. Now it's not going to allow you to do dust trades so you have to put some reasonable amount. It has to be greater than or equal to so we'll just go ahead and leave it at one. We will check. Let's zoom out on this. So by setting an upper limit price of 68,000 we're saying we want to sell if price comes into this range we're going to take a sell order here, sell for some profit, sell for some profit here, sell for some profit here, sell for some profit here, and sell for some profit here if price comes all the way up. Now if price comes back down this way, we're going to go ahead and buy some more here, buy some more here, buy some more here, buy some more here, and buy some more here with this current lower limit price. Now if we wanted to lower this to this former support right here, which looks valid at 288 one one just type that in then our grid would fall down to that support range if we want more grids to close the distance between each safety order we can add more grids and that would put more sell orders and more buy orders if you change this to 20 you will get more sell orders and more buy orders if you change this to eight you'll get less sell orders and less buy orders so that is how you can target your grid to cover a certain amount of range or deviation when we refer to our simple DCA bots we talk about deviation coverage this is how you plan for deviation on a grid bot so anything outside of this grid and your bot is pretty much not going to do anything if price comes up here it's not going to sell anymore and if price comes down here it's not going to buy anymore you're gonna to have to manually come in here and readjust these in order for your bot to continue to operate so this is the basic overview of how the 
Gridbot works. It's not entirely passive. It can be, but you definitely have to plan for certain outcomes and events. You also have to pay more attention to this than you would a DCA bot. If you if you set up a DCA bot properly, pretty much golden. DCA bots have been a money maker for me for a long time, as well as many others. The grid bots, there's plenty of money to be made with grid bots, but you have to be careful and kind of know what you're doing. And like I said, set up your grids in a sideways market and plan for deviation. I didn't see this down here, so it says dust trades disallowed, minimum quantity per grid, 003. So let's just go ahead and fill that in there. And then you see we have no issues. So we can go ahead and create this bot. Go ahead and press create. And your bot's created. All right, so that's it for this one. Follow up with our next video, how to maintenance a grid bot.